Hello, Raw Food Rehabbers. It is Wednesday of week nine. It's July the 29th. And I have three important things that I need to share with you today. The first matter is very important. And if you hear nothing else, I want you to hear this, what I have to say. Um, Raw Food Rehab is an experiment group. It is a closed website. It is not a social networking. Um, it's not like Give It To Me Raw or Raw Foo or there's so many awesome sites out there like that. But that's not what we are. We're a research project for me to accumulate information for this book that I'm working on. And in the process, those of you who have been extremely active here, it has turned into a little family that we have. And it's been such a blessing to me and to so many others. And I log on the site every day and that usually make a video almost every day and put a daily thread up, even if I don't make a video, and try to impart what is in my heart to help you along your raw food journey, um, certainly for lifelong reasons, but also to try in an event to try to get you to engage with what we're doing here and help you to feel like you are getting something out of this experiment. So it's not just about me, it's about all of us. And so I really try to, to give every day something that I think might be of value to, to the overall group. Okay, if you're watching this video right now and you know that you're somewhat active on the site or very active on the site, that you're making it a point to either weigh in every Sunday, which is our weigh-in day, or you are emailing myself or Dennis and letting us know why you're not weighing in. Maybe you've got a family emergency. Maybe you're traveling. If that's you, you're totally fine. Do not worry about it. However, there is a percentage, and it's a small percentage, of people that do not log on to our site on a weekly basis. They're missing all the information I'm giving, they're missing the daily video, and they're missing the weigh-in. And I'm at the point right now where I don't have time to mess with stragglers. So if you're a straggler and you're not committed to working this research project, um, then don't be surprised if you... You may not even ever try to log on to Raw Food Rehab, but if you do and your account has been deleted, I don't want you to be angry with me because this is a research project. And you know who you are if you're not putting any kind of interest into what's going on here. I don't think you will be angry if I delete your account. So that's my um, firm but loving message today. If you've not been active, and you're listening to this video, and you don't want your account deleted, and you're ready to finish strong. We've got 19 days of this experiment to finish strong, and it's not just about the weight. It's not. It is about the life transformation that can happen by all the things that we've been discussing. And so if you're missing all the daily threads, I really don't think that you can possibly be that engaged in what we're doing here. So that being said, I'm moving on to the next subject. Okay, yesterday I posted a thread about the Tour de Frog, and um, we've, had some, we've had some great response to it, and I'm very excited about what is um, happening with the videos and the pictures that you guys are accumulating. Um, obviously, you know, you don't have time to do it just like that, but over the next three weeks, we want to see what's going on in your world and how you're making the raw food lifestyle shift and how you're making that work for you. And the ideas that you might share with us are ideas that could really help other people. So I just want to thank you. If you're considering putting up your video or your photo um, roll of what you're doing at your house or in your world to make this more of an easy transition and an easy reality for you. Okay, the last thing. I put up a thread today that is, I want to know who your favorite, the person who has impacted you in very meaningful ways in the raw food health community. Um, I've put up a, um, a slideshow of different people who've had an impact in my life today to give you ideas, and I've been very blessed to have been able to meet some of those people in real life. It's been very exciting for me. I am. Um, a self-acclaimed raw food groupie. I have no shame in telling that. Uh, it is a great joy. I mean, back in the 80s, I used to follow punk rock bands. Now I follow raw food educators. <laughs> so it's, um, it's exciting. And um, I would like to know who 
top three, top three people who've had the most impact on you or who you enjoy listening to their teachings, um, whether they are a raw food guru or it could be somebody next door that helped turn you on to raw food. But I'm specifically looking for personalities that are somewhat known in this community uh, because I do have something up my sleeve, even though I don't have a sleeve today. Um, I have a little something I'm planning, and I would like that information. I would like every single one of you to log in and tell me, and I'll put a link to what, where that thread is, tell me who your top three are. Um, it's fun, first of all, and second of all, I have purpose in it. So thank you guys for your diligence, and thank you for your interest. And I don't care if we finish this experiment with 50 people, I really, it, the number isn't important to me. It's the quality and the integrity of which we are uh, working this project. And I know you all have lives. Um, you have jobs and families and just all kinds of things that you have in your life. And so for those of you who have made it an effort to log in here, um, maybe once, twice, three times, some of you every day, log into this site and to contribute um your thoughts and your ideas, uh, it's meant a tremendous amount to me, and I am forever grateful for it. So thanks to all of you, even to those of you who are no longer with us on this particular site. Um, our paths will certainly cross again in the very near, near future. I have no doubt about it. And everybody that's been involved in this has had um, an impact on the project in one way or another. So I thank all of you for whatever involvement you've had in the project. and. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.